point we had to separate still L U V U. What's up, you two? It's your boy Big Cliff. It's your girl Jazzy J. We're back. We're back. <laughs> so this video is going to be about how we met. <laughs> Yoinkums. <laughs> so I know Yoinkums. people are like <laughs> Scoop. I schooled you. Hagen dies. Whatever. <laughs> Triple was, school. At first we were like, oh, maybe we shouldn't do it, but I didn't think a lot of people know the like the little fine details. Flavors. The little fine details of how we met. School. So this video. Stop. Oh. This video is shout out to Ice Cream. <laughs> shout out to Harleys and Cream. Ashton Claire. <laughs> Taylor T. <laughs> Taylor T. Taylor T. So, Taylor T. So this is how this is how Ashton it started. Claire. Taylor T. So, I was at work. I worked at an animal hospital in Santa Monica, and also was going to school in Santa Monica. I was going to Santa Monica College. So, right, right, right. Taylor, right. I called Taylor because I forgot my backpack at home, and I was living in Compton, and my mom's. So right, I was like, right, right. if I drop the Compton and get my backpack, I'm not coming back to Santa Monica at 7 p.m. with traffic to go to school. I'm just missing class today. Right, so right, I called Taylor right. like, hey, I don't feel like going home yet. And I forgot my backpack. Like, let's hang out. Let's go get something to eat. And she was like, oh, I'm at my boy Cliff house. You should come by. And get scooped. I was like, I don't know him. I'm not going to nobody's house and I don't know him. She was like, well, just come pick me up. So Maya drove down an hour in traffic. Drove to Gardena, pulled up, and she was like, you don't want to come inside? I was like, no, I don't know him like that. And she was like, okay, I'm coming outside. So here she come with this one, Noah and Chase. They come up to the car and go ahead. Well, first of all, I want to say Chase, you know, he's smooth and suave and shit. He walked over with Cliff. Noah, old clown, dancing in the middle of the street. <laughs> my boys, them my woo! Shout out to the Burner Squad, B B. Okay, so go ahead. BBS. So, you know, I pull up to the side. You know what I'm saying? Looking like came from into society and shit. Telling my boys, hold on, hold on. You know, like scoop that, scoop it, scoop. <laughs> nah, so. I pull up to the side, you know, Taylor T, bring introduce, and I'll see her, and I'm like, okay. Because first, I already saw the picture I, of her. I was going to say, I just forgot a major part. Earlier that week, she was like, my homeboy said, what's up? And I was like, you're a homeboy. I said, let me see a picture. <laughs> she sends me this picture of him in a do-rag, cocked to the side, like, he just think he just so fly. Where she and at, I was though? like, he cute or whatever. Where she at, though? She shows him <laughs> the only picture in her phone of me, which was of me crying at the beach. Now, why she had a picture of me crying at the beach, I don't remember. But she showed him that picture, me crying at the beach. Like, just gonna do me like that, Taylor. Just gonna do me like that, huh? First so anyway, I, first thing I fast saw. Fast forward. I call her, hey, I forgot beautiful. my backpack, let's hang out. Beautiful. When I was crying, babe, I that's was the, beautiful. That's the first thing I said. I said, damn, because I told her, we, we was just chilling up in the living room, watching some TV, drinking a little bit, Kool-Aid, <laughs> and uh, and all of a sudden, I, I was just, honestly, I ain't going to even lie, I was just playing. I was just playing with Taylor, too. We was just all, like chilling. I was like, T, she's like, what? I said, man, we're one of your homegirls. <laughs> I ain't got no homegirls, Cliff. I said, you ain't got no, I said, what type of girl, homegirls, you ain't got no home? Hook me up. I only got one. Let me see her. <laughs> so she pulled out her little phone and showed me. And I see her and I was like, damn. I said, yo, she right. I said, who me up with that? I said, what's <laughs> up with that Taylor T? And she was like, I see what's up. And I'm like, T, I'm like, hook me up. Give her two pieces of cheese. <laughs> hook it up. Um, so she was like, I see what I can do. I see what I can do. So fast forward. How many girls say that? I called her like, hey, forgot my backpack. Um, let's hang out. Let's go get something to eat. She's like, oh, come through my boy Cliff house. So I was like, I don't know him. But it was because we had already seen each other's pictures. So I was like, wait, I don't know him like that. I ain't coming to his house. I ain't like that. Yet. 
I ain't like that. I still ain't like that. Yet. Like what? Loving? I just had to work on that. Maybe it's like a book. I had to read it. Like, oh, treat her like this. You getting on Got my that. nerves. Got that. Anyway. Nah, so I come outside, you know. Looking all fly, you know. I said two. Oh, y'all don't know about that. I said Weezy F, baby. No, I'm just joking. That's a that's a that's a skit. Shout out to that boy. Yeah. Little day, look at that nigga two go, man, nigga four. But that's that that's that dedication. So you wanna like my show? Don't know that part. Oh, she do know that part. <laughs> Nike. I feel like working something. I feel I'ma step to the girl. I'ma let her know my name. She gonna look at the boyfriend. Let like, bitch. I'ma leave you. Yep. Anyway, uh, <laughs> that's what was on our ways. Uh, so, I see her in the car, you know, like she was like kind of sad a little bit. So, I was like, yo. I wasn't sad. I was just uncomfortable. She was just sitting there looking uncomfortable. And I had to hit her, you know, with that. And when I'm alone in my room, so I'm trying to stay with the <laughs> wall. And then in the back of my mind, I hear my conscience call telling me I need a girl who's as sweet as a dove for the first time in my life. I see I need love. There I was, giggling about the games that I had played you with many of us. But I'm not saying no name. Then a thought occurred, tear drops me in my eye. Okay. I'm sorry, y'all. I just got into the moment. So, I see her in the car with her. Make her roll down the window. She didn't even want to roll down the window, so you know, I kind of opened the door. Pop, pop, popped it out. She was on the passenger side, so I opened up the door. Why she had was on, I on the passenger side and not drove? She had on. Um, was she driving she her had, rallies? She she drove. So she had y'all went to rallies. Yeah. So she had on her little uh, uniform. She had on a uniform, looking like mm, looking, looking like, like a snack. Looking like a snack. That's when I was skinny. Looking like a snack snack. So, uh, she got her little uniform over there. So I open the door. I'm talking to her. All I see is Teeth. She's smiling because she see the flyest thing she ever saw in her life. <laughs> so, uh, we get to talk and stuff, introduce myself, tell him my name, what I do. And, hey, I like the picture. You're even more beautiful in person and things like that. First thing, what I do, <laughs> got her laughing. <laughs> got her laughing. Soon as she started laughing like that, <laughs> scoop, scoop her. I said, yo, let me get uh, three scoops of Perlings and Green, please. Which is favorite ice cream, by the way. But, uh, but yeah, so, I mean, we just got to talking and stuff like that. And on top of that, my boys, I ain't going to shout out to my boy, Bad B. Shout out to that boy, and Daddy. You know, and shout out to my girl, Taylor TZ. You know, so they kind of helped me out a little bit, too. They were saying some little things. They kind of left us alone, but then came back, left us alone, came back. So they was kind of like, we ain't going to leave you alone too much, but we ain't going to be in y'all business. Mm -hmm. So they over there playing Love Connection, Chuck Woolery. So, uh, you know, I'm over here doing my doing my thug dizzle, you know, so I'm scooping and everything like that. All of a sudden, I pull out the phone, like, yo, let me get your number. She was like, okay. So she pulls out her phone. I pull out my phone. Flip, shout out to that nigga Fyler. Um, <laughs> oh, she pull out the phone. It's a flip phone. <laughs> flip phone. You know, the phone, you be like this. And then, no, remember those, you pull out, and then you pull that antenna up. Like, you really gonna get some service? <laughs> like, let me pull this antenna up real quick. And she be like that. <laughs> yeah, so. So, <laughs> so, she pulled out her phone, I pulled out my phone. And then I hit her with the line. You remember the line I hit you with? We must be meant to be, because we got the same phone. Yeah, and where she at? And where she at, though? And where she at, right here? And where she at, though? Shut your ass up. So, we pulled out the same phone or whatever, and I'm like, yo. You remember what color you had? I had red. Blue. He had blue. Yeah, blue. Remember them ones, the, the the Sprint phones that used to have the little panda dancing in the front? Remember those? <laughs> so and it was crazy because you remember the ringtones that we had or that you had? I don't remember the ringtone I had. I don't. What ringtone did I have? Get the call and stuff. I'm trying to see what's up. The ringtone was, and this is this is how I knew. Oh, I'm about to get her. The ringtone was, you already know. One twelve. Oh, Papa coming over to give you that more favorite that position from the back door. You ready? Know the drill. Don't ask no questions. Why? You no, already, already know. know tonight's the night, girl. I got that nigga I got Cliff is gonna scoop hey, you up. I got a better one. What? As you can see, that will be three did not pick up his cell phone. <laughs> so, so if you call me, I'm like your like number and leave, leave a message. message. After that, that was his voicemail. <laughs> that was my voicemail. That was his voicemail. Fresh Prince. But yeah. uh, so that's what it was. Basically, I got her number. I scooped her up, and then uh, you know, 
it's been like this ever since. But then on top of that, though, fellas, y'all, y'all know, fellas, y'all know. Whether y'all married it with somebody, y'all just got with on the side, married y'all, y'all just got with somebody basically for that week or whatever. Whatever your situation is, you know how you get the girl number. My wife, at the time, my girl, at the time, just somebody I was trying to scoop up, which ain't no try. I scoop, <laughs> and you know they play that hard to get real, like you call them, but they don't answer. Or you, it's like, and they don't answer again, or they don't call you back. So it's kind of like, man, I'm wasting my time. Like, oh, what's up? And like, ah. we met on the fifth, October fifth, two thousand five. Yeah. yeah. And I didn't answer his call until the thirteenth, October thirteenth. Thirsty. Look, 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 I didn't look, answer look. his call until the thirteenth. And, and then was, our first date. What was our first date? I don't know. Nah, our first date was to the movies, and we went to go see The, the Fog. Fog. <laughs> <laughs> D-Ray Davis in there because I was like, man, he gonna die. And he didn't. No, I said he was gonna die and you kept saying, black man not gonna die. Black man not gonna die. Yeah. And he didn't. My he boy did D-Ray. So, and it was crazy because Bad B knew about it and Dottie knew about it. And then all of a sudden that boy father started knowing about it too. Like, yo man, like, they telling me that this, you know, that this girl that you got, like, what's up with you? We hit her up? And I'm like, nah. I said, I hit her up, but she ain't return nigga call. <laughs> So, you can't say that to one of us. You can't say that to us. Shout out my boy number three. Why? You know, shout out to my boy K-Rich. Like, you can't say that to us because we clown. Like, now, I mean, we all married and happy and everything like that. But, back in the day, before we got serious, mm -mm, you couldn't say, yo, nigga, I called her, nigga, but she didn't answer, though. It was like, <laughs> nigga, she don't want you. That was the first thing father said. father was like, nigga, she don't want you, nigga. <laughs> He's like, she don't want you. She probably got nothing, nigga, from Santa Monica. Probably on the football team or something, you know. He died, that nigga cold. Now look at his father. Anyway, so it was crazy because I was out of town with them dudes. I was out of town with them. We was chilling. Out of town? Where was you at? He's known to travel. To travel. Where were we at, hey? Where were we at? We were not out of town. We was at a booth. We was at a booth with Diggo. Like big old brother or something like that. It was it was it was that and also video shit. It, it was something. We was out. We wasn't in LA, basically. We all we chilling off of dominoes in the booth. We had a studio set. We matter of fact, we was in a sunset when we used to go to the remember we used to go to the studio? Yeah, <laughs> shout out to that boy Melvin, <laughs> you know. Uh we were in the studio. And I was like, man, just finished our verse and everything like that, having a good time. And I was like, man, I'm gonna call her. And I was like, man, call her, call her, clear, call her, call her, read three. So I'm like, all right, cool. So I called. Guess who picks up? <laughs> she picks up. Man, I must have ran out of that studio. Like, what's up? <laughs> like, hey. So, you know, I threw in the line, like, yo, you ain't feeling me, huh? She like, no, I'm feeling you. I've just been going through a lot with school and work. And it's just kind of hard and this and this and that. No, I think you cool and stuff. This and this and that. I'm like, yo, can I take you out? Like, you know, and at that time, you know, even now, you got to be super careful on what you do, how you do it. I'm like, yo, like, can we go out? Like, if you don't mind, you know, I could come pick you up or maybe we can meet somewhere. You don't want me to know where you live or you want a double date. So that way you're going with your girl, you know, just anything. She didn't know me from a can of paint. I appreciate her even taking that time to even consider a black man like myself to let me take her on a nice little date. And once I took her on a date, I don't want her over. But before the date, <laughs> it just took a while. And, and I used to always hit her with the, I make you laugh too much. Because I used to always make her laugh. I mean, I still do to this day. I make her laugh a lot. And that was my fear. Now it's not a fear because it's like, this is what she wanted. We're you married, thought I was so going to box you because you made me laugh. I was going to be the friend, you know, the friend zone. Like, oh my God, he is so, so funny. funny. I don't like him like that, though. Nah, so, funny. I used to always tell him, like, man, you're going to put me in the friend zone, huh? You're going to put me in the friend zone. She'd be like, no, I'm not. <laughs> and that's what y'all all say. No, I'm not. All of a sudden, like, that's just my brother. I don't like him like that. He's my friend. Then you end up getting married to somebody. Yeah, long story. But anyway, so we went out on a date. And that was it, man. I had a great time. It seemed like she had a great time. And we went out on most days and we started having games. I didn't even let him pick and, me up. I picked him up. Yeah, she picked me up. <laughs> yeah, she was like, I can pick you up in my Honda. She's like, you want me to pick you up? Nope. No, she, I didn't have the Honda. Oh, the she time. had the Jeep. I had the Jeep. She had the Jeep, the black Jeep. Oh, that's a whole other story about what happened to the black Jeep. And then she got nervous enough to get mad at me. But anyway, um, my life. Video. My life was in danger. A whole nother video. But uh, so basically, 
that's it, man. She gave me the opportunity yes. to take her out. I took her out. She was like a gentleman. We had a great time. Yeah, we had our ups and downs. Had our great time and made her laugh a lot. We ate good and had a good time watching the movie. Then we started kind of just talking a little bit more and hanging out and game nights and coming through and more dates and more dates. And, you know, it's a lot more to it that we'll talk about in the next video. But that's basically That is how, how we met. met. How we met. And here we are 12 happiest, years later. One of the happiest days of my life. One of them. Yes, one of the very many. I had a lot of happy days, but one of the very many, you know, it's up there. It's it's really up there. And I appreciate, I appreciate you, and I love you. I love you too. All right, guys, that's it. Thank y'all for watching this video. Yes. Hopefully y'all enjoy. Make sure y'all smash that like button, subscribe, and sh 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 share with your coworkers, your classmates, your roommates, your in laws, your, your outlaws, enemies. your enemies, everybody. Yeah. Other YouTubers, I mean, yeah. everybody. Your yeah. teacher, your assistant, your secretary, your babysitter, your kids, your kids' friends, your kids' friends' parents, Chipotle employees, <laughs> McDonald's employees, Burger King, Jack in Chipotle the Box, Chipotle employees, Jersey Mike's, gym membership guys, airport people. I miss anything else. Dog Thanks lovers. Thanks for watching the video. Subscribe, Thank like, you. share. Thank Press you. the bell so you can get an alert when we post a new video. Hopefully y'all enjoyed and this video. Yes. I hope we hope you guys enjoyed the video. We out. We Big out. clear. Jazzy J. Peace out. Not hard to impress. Just show me that kindness. And I'ma show my best as often as time ticks. I need you to know who you stepping with right quick. Bad bonnet from the G. Reppin' the five fifth. I could be, I could be the man of your dreams. I could be the man of your dreams. I could be, I could be the man of your dreams. I could be the